For the social vulnerability layer, we worked off neighborhood data sharing the same spatial unit block groups. So we were able to just calculate the SVI for each block group and join the table to the shapefile. In this video, we'll try to use data sets with different types or spatial scales to create the economic vulnerability layer. I have three layers here, the number of housing units, 50 years or older in each block group, and this employees is the number of employees working in each zip code. Then there's a point layer showing the location of businesses with more than 10 employees. I've imported all three layers to my file geo database. It's the same spatial reference, state plan for Louisiana South. I'm going to use a different method described in the wrinkle paper here. First, convert each of the three vector layers to raster data sets, and then use reclassify and weighted overlay to create the economic vulnerability layer. As we are already familiar with some of the tools, I have created a model here. So that demonstrates the workflow. Now we have three inputs. The blue circles here represent input data sets, if you remember. The layer H housing includes model fields of housing built in the 60s, the 50s, the 40s, and earlier. So I first added a new field, add a new field historic, and then I used field calculator to calculate the sum of these different fields as one single number for the number of housing units 50 years or older. For the employee layer, no calculation is needed, so I simply convert it to raster. So I'm sure you use feature to raster here to convert these two layers to raster data sets. Make sure you set the application and uh, the field that you create in raster from and the output cell size if you want. The businesses layer is a little different. When you convert polygon features to raster, it will assign the specified attribute of each polygon to all raster cells covered by the polygon. But if the vector feature is a point or line layer, the raster created will only have values at the points or along the lines. So instead of using feature to raster, I'm using kernel density here, which creates a density surface based on the size and location of businesses. I'm using the number of local employees as the population field, and again, set the output size and raster location. Uh, search radius here, you can change this to manipulate how smooth the surface is. And then I use reclassify on each of the three created rest layers. Now, remember how to do that from our first video, creating flood hazard layer. So make sure that you set the the categories right and cut off values and save it where you want to save it. And the last step again is a weighted overlay. Here combining the three input layers, reclassified. Make sure you set these the way you want it and set the validation scale all to the same as your scales and either set equal influence or set different weights for your inputs and remember they have to add up to 100. And I'm saving the output raster as economic vulnerability. All right, now let's run this model and see what happens. See the red shows which step is currently being operated. Alright, I should have a rest layer showing economic vulnerability here.